Sorry. Hello, and welcome back to another one of John's Safety Talks. Hello, so today we're talking about safety awareness, or the much longer title, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention to your immediate surroundings when transporting regular sized objects and or operating a forklift. So two incidents spring to mind. The first one involves a person grabbing a bar just like this, and taking it over his shoulder and walking through a doorway. Seems simple enough. I think many of us probably would carry it the exact same way. Uh, what he didn't take into account was the length of the bar and how fast the door would close behind him. So as he walked through the doorway, the door actually closed behind him and it had a little small glass window. It hit the tip of the uh, bar here and it smashed. That's one incident. The second incident, and it's probably something that many people are familiar with in sites all around the world, but this one involved a forklift operator who had his mast up and as he was backing up, he smashed into a air conditioner unit. Okay, so we have one incident where somebody was walking with the bar across their shoulder, and we have another incident where a forklift driver was driving with the mast up. So how are they both related? Well, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we all know that we're supposed to pay attention to what we're doing and watch where we're going, and for the most part, we're pretty good at making sure that our body parts stay out of harm's way. But for some reason, when we're transporting irregular sized objects or we're driving our forklift, especially when something extends outside of our normal scope of, of attention, you know, within our enclosed area, we pay attention. If we're on the forklift, you know, we're pretty much aware of what's going on. Uh, and when we're carrying something in front of us, we're aware of what's going on. But when you add, you know, some length to what you're carrying, all of a sudden, you know, you're not really paying attention to what's behind you. And if you're on the forklift, you're not really paying attention to what's up there by the mast. You're watching ahead of you and you're watching behind you, obviously, to make sure you're not running anybody over. So it's easy to lose sight of, you know, what's up there, you know, like an air conditioning unit or, you know, a pipe or something like that. Take a look at our friend here. He's moving a bar outside of one room and he's taking it out into the yard. So when transporting something like this, you want to pay extra attention to where the object begins and where it ends. You want to look forward, look backwards, make sure that you're avoiding any obstacles. And as always, watch where you step and always choose a clear path. Driving is a similar story. We must become one with the vehicle. Be aware of any obstacle that you might bump into. This is especially true with the forklift. The forklift has a mass that moves. The forklift has forks and the forklift has solid heavy tires that will crush any soft squishy thing that gets in its path. Ah! When driving a forklift, you need to be aware of everything in your area. You need to be aware where every piece of your equipment is, whether you're talking about your forks, your mast, or your tires, and you need to be aware of anything in the area that you might bump into. And remember, always use Abby. Above, below, behind, inside. So you want to look above to make sure there's no pipes or anything in the way that you might hit with the mast if you're driving with the mast up, which you shouldn't be unless you're loading or unloading a dock. You want to look below, uh, especially with your forks. And there have been many incidents where a forklift driver will hit something in its path, which will cause him to maybe jump or fall off the forklift. And in many cases, it either leads to severe injury or leads to death. Don't forget, you always have to wear a seatbelt when you're on your forklift. Uh, but you wanna look behind you, you wanna look inside. If you're going into any room or going around a corner, you know, you really wanna be aware of anything in the path of the forklift because the forklift, it can be a dangerous piece of equipment if used incorrectly. Okay, so to wrap everything up, I just wanna remind you to pay attention, be aware of your surroundings, use Abby above, below, behind, and side. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention to not just where your body parts are at, but everything that you're either driving, operating, or carrying. You wanna make sure that you're aware of where every piece of that is. You know, whether you're holding a bar, you wanna make sure that you know where the top of this bar is, the bottom of the bar is. If you're on the forklift, you wanna make sure you know where the top of the mast is, the bottom of the mast is, where the forks are at, where the tires are at. You wanna pay attention to all that because you don't wanna run anything over, you don't wanna smash into anything, and you definitely don't wanna break any windows. Okay, so thank you for watching. This has been another one of John's Safety Talks. Be safe out there and have a great day.